Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Bill Burr. I'm done with awkward people. Let's see what he has to say. And okay. And I said I just stopped giving a shit about making it. In, in a way where I was just like, you know what, F forget this. I'm just going to do what I do. Another animation? That whole period, like, you know, I know how many of you guys are trying to make. I'm sorry. Who is that? Who is that? Who is? Look, I'm trying to get my. Who is that? Who is? <gasps> what movie is this? I need it right now. Or Oh, wait a minute. They put his head on somebody else's body. Hi, my name is Britt and I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. This though, this stick figure situation. What? What? Okay, I'm going to rewind it so that I can get my life together now. And I also, I just stopped giving a shit about making it in, in a way where I was just like, you know what, F forget this. I'm just going to do what I forget do. this with the because I went through that men in black. Like, you know, I know many of you guys are trying to make it out here. You just go through that period where you're just like, oh, they, they, they like guys with, you know, whatever blue button down shirts and you're wearing the blue button down shirts and people who talk about this, they like in my time, it, it's gone from the tail end of the sport coat guy into the grunge guy into the alt scene, into the, the whole, like, whatever that period was where guys in their 30s acted like they were 14 and they were awkward <laughs> and just, you know, the hoodie, like that. <laughs> My wife called them, uh, uh, what you call them, uh, not baby men or something, man boys. Man, man boys. boys. That's, That's pretty spot them. on. Nia is always spot on. That's pretty spot on. And they were throwing tantrums too, I think. Like the celebrity man, I feel like that was the era. Well, not just men. That was the era that I feel like celebrities in general were like fighting back with the paparazzi because the par paparazzi was getting out of hand. But like it felt like they were throwing tantrums. I only say that because they had the three pictures of the three men. And like there was a point where Justin Bieber was literally losing it in the public eye. Kanye too. And I can't remember who the, who's the third guy up there. Who is that? Is that Ryan? Who is that holding the bag? Is that Ryan Gosling? I don't ever recall him acting a fool in public, but the other two have had their moments. Um, and you know what? They might have been justified because they were going through things. But I'm just agreeing with Nia calling them baby men. <laughs> and Bill's like, they were acting like teenagers in their hoodies. Like, what she call them? Uh, not baby men or something. Man boys. Man, man boys. boys. <laughs> this is what she called them. And I don't know. I'm just like awkward. Like that was this, whole, this default thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, great. Now I have to hold up both ends of the conversation. So. <laughs> I really just, those people, I, I really just, I kind of got hostile with. Mm -hmm. I was just like, well, when you get over with that, you know, and you can talk to me. You, yeah, you're, you are awkward. This is weird. And I also thought a lot of people, no, but a lot of people that do that, it's also, it's a passive aggressive thing to come in and steal focus. And we all have to deal with how awkward you are yeah. and make sure you do. You're in your thirties. Figure this out. Right. I'll never forget one time I was in a green room in New York. I, I was living in LA and I met an old friend. And we were talking about the old days. Of oh, hello, Patrice. Yo, Billy. All right, so we have Patrice O'Neill, Bill. I don't know who this guy is with the glasses. I'm so trying. So it's taking every effort from me not to be distracted by the stick figure drawings and all the things that are popping up on the screen and listen to the story. But I'm struggling because I'm so intrigued by this. In New York, I, I was living in L.A. and I met an old friend. And we were talking about the old days about when we oh, remember this guy. Remember that night when this happened? We were having a great time. And there was younger comics and they were listening. And then some people who actually were in the tail end of the stories. We were having this great time. And then this, this woman comes in, comedian, and she was like socially awkward. And she didn't know how to like get into it. So we're all, oh, yeah, no, we're all <laughs> laughing and everything. And she walked right into the middle of the circle. I swear to God, she just watched and got like, hello, 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 hello. Did they just out Amy Schumer? Like, that's Amy Schumer, right? That's Amy Schumer? I'm pretty sure that's Amy Schumer. Why would they, why would they do this? He didn't name any names and the drawing is naming names. To the middle of the circle, I swear to God, she just watched and got like, hello, 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 hello. And she was like, mocking saying hello yeah but then totally stole all the focus and everyone's just like oh whoa hey, you all right and, and all the fun went out of the room and then everyone was dealing with her and then she left and i said to my friend I go, what the f what the fuck was that <laughs> who, 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 that was like that was some rude shit we were having a great time and like if you don't know how to say fucking hello learn how to do it don't come in and take the whole thing away and just no, this is so true. So I um, take Pilates and 
there was this one day I was in Pilates and this happens to me often. Um, I'm like maybe sometimes, maybe not the youngest person in the room, but maybe the youngest looking. I, I don't, all the time, people don't feel like I look my age. And so some people make like awkward comments to me, like you shouldn't be struggling. You're so young. And it's just like, you don't know my physical capabilities now, no matter how old you think I am. That's so rude. But this one time, this lady she like sucked all the air out of room. Class was over and this lady was talking to another lady about health issues that someone who used to come to class was having, but they are no longer coming to class because they were ha they had like a surgery. And she injects herself in the conversation and literally just starts talking about all of her health issues. Like, no, they don't know her. It wasn't warranted. They weren't talking to her. She just walked in. She goes, yeah, I am actually headed to the doctor right now because they think I'm dying. Like, literally, she was like, I've been tested for years and years and I have like autoimmune issues. She just like literally started telling all of her business in the most, un it was like so awkward that like everyone around was like, and it was happening like in the middle of the aisle where you go to exit. So everyone was somehow having to like excuse themselves. And she wasn't, she wouldn't stop talking. It was like, she literally sucked all the air out of the room. It was so bizarre. And I don't know if that was socially awkward less than it was like, she just didn't, she wasn't self-aware. She was so into like telling her story and it like, it came off like she just wanted sympathy and everyone was just like, huh? Like, it was so bizarre. And it's so, when people make things bizarre and like awkward feeling like that, then like, how do you rescue yourself from that? <laughs> I feel Bill. And Bill is such a like upfront person. I don't think he does well in situations like this. Like he's not offering any like graciousness because he, he doesn't know how. <laughs> if you don't know how to say fucking hello, learn how to do it. Don't come in and take the whole thing away and just ruin this thing. And that was the last time. That was the last time I was like, fuck these awkward people. Like if you really, if you really are. Like, no grace. <laughs> I don't want to like bully people. I don't want to bully somebody if they really are socially awkward or something like that. I'll work with you, but if I'll you just work with you. I'm awkward now. The world has to deal with this. Yeah, if that's your shtick. Yeah. That's your yeah, shtick. Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> that's your shtick. <laughs> the weirdest most awkward outro i'll tell you that much the word shtick to me is so funny i don't know why that was so funny to me yeah i mean my husband thinks he's socially awkward and i disagree with him but i tell him all the time like if you think you're socially awkward don't like lead with that because then you make it hard for other people to like have a response like you know i don't know i feel like don't make it hard for everybody else like just either don't speak or I don't know. I, I I know it's hard, but it's just like, God forbid you run into somebody like Bill Burr who has absolutely no tolerance for it. Now you think you felt awkward. You've been you've you've entered the the dragon. <laughs> oh man, that was just a lot with the with the drawing and like the random pictures of like Men in Black and stuff was crazy. All right, go have the day you deserve. Peace. <laughs>